Hey guys, I wanna share with you where we're at here at Grace for the first th few months of 2024, our One Church Initiative. We have so many th reasons to thank God and I wanna look ahead to summer with you. So hang on, give you a heads up about summer. First of all, let's thank God together. Here are some stats, stories, and information about our church plants. So first of all, just the stats. And every stat, it's just a number. These are real life changes. These are real people. As of the end of March, we've seen, just let this soak in, 550 new visitors. 67 people got saved. 65 baptisms. Over a thousand adults in groups. Grace groups, Bible studies, Bible reading huddles. And at Easter, 5,000. 552 people attended Easter. So all those stories, we praise God. All those are life changes, the Spirit moving in people. The stories are incredible too, to this One Church Initiative. So I've heard stories about new groups being formed, which was one of the hopes, new engagement, community, and connection with the church. People told me about a larger group uh, that started recently. So several couples kind of looked at each other, didn't have a group, formed one. And I've heard from multiple couples in that group separately saying how life-giving, what an amazing experience having a group of people to go deeper with Christ, pray for each other, disciple each other, help each other grow. It's been amazing. Another group, uh, one of the guys in that group said just two couples got together. They wanted to have that space to go deeper spiritually. So, so cool, the stories we're hearing. And then our church plants. So we've, we're trading church plant number 20 right now, Alex Howell, to be sent to KCK. But some of our church plants we sent out after seven and a half years. Two of them have recently merged over the last several months, which means they got a building, like the rising in Nashville, Smithville Bible Church in Smithville right here in Kansas City and the baptisms that happened at our church plants on Easter. Local church had seven. Freedom Church on Troost had nine. So thank you, thank you, thank you for your prayers, your service, your giving. This would not be possible without people engaged, connecting, following the Holy Spirit like you. So thank you guys for your generosity, your prayers, your service. Now, Summer at Grace. Three events coming up. If you're a student, a child, a volunteer, you were talking about Summer Breakout. Summer Breakout Junior is the first set coming up. These are fun, crazy times. This is like vacation Bible school, but on Holy Spirit power, juice. And it's also some of those transforming times for children in their life. So many kids give their life to Christ. If you want a place to serve, to change a generation, to have a blast, we need you to help volunteering at Summer Breakout Junior for our four-year-olds to first graders. We need you at Summer Breakout for our second to fifth graders. That's coming. Middle school and high school camps coming as well. Coming in July, register your student to spend time at Camp Table Rock for those middle school, high schoolers to unplug and hear from God. Every year we hear stories about people getting their heart transformed. And Tribes Camp, that comes at the end of July. That's for third to sixth graders, three days, two nights and freedom for mom and dad from your third to sixth grader. Did I say it out loud? I'm just joking, but seriously, that's too funny. Uh, but seriously, uh, my child is gonna be there and we're investing in her spirits. We want her connected to God and other people. So we need volunteers for that as well. That's coming. For all the information and registrations, go to visitgracechurch.com slash summer. God bless you guys. I love you.